Create a cut line around a graphic in Adobe Illustrator to prepare it for print and cut operations on a roll in VersaCam or Versa Studio. I will start off with a vector graphic that can be verified as a vector by going to View and Outline, which is also Control Y for a shortcut. And I can see the entire graphic in the outline and all the different vector objects within it. I'll go back to View and Preview to see the graphic normally. We'll go to our Layers Docker, which if these dockers are not available to you, you can go to Window and check on the different docker that you want to be available. Under the Layer Docker, I'll select the layer and drag it down to the Create New Layer icon. Now I have two layers in here of the same graphic. The first layer I'll rename as Artwork. The second layer I'll rename to Cutline. The Artwork layer I will now lock and turn off so I don't see it in the active artboard. The cut line layer I will now select all by going to select and all or using the shortcut keyboard shortcut of control A. Once I have all the objects selected I'll go to object and expand. I want to remove any strokes or fills that need to be expanded out and have them simply as vector objects with the lines on the outside edge. Under the expand I'll make sure that they're both checked and hit OK. This will expand the graphic out. Once everything has been expanded, I can go to my Pathfinder, and now I'm going to unite everything. Click on Unite, and now I can see the outline of the graphic, which has a fill of white and no stroke. I'm going to reverse my fill and stroke, or at least ensure that my, my fill has nothing, and my stroke we're going to create as the cut contour line. I will open up my Roland VersaWorks swatch set by going to the swatches, using the drop down menu, open swatch library, and then go to Roland VersaWorks. Under the Roland VersaWorks swatch library, the swatch we will select is cut contour. Click on the cut contour color to apply that swatch. Our stroke can be one point or lower and you want it to be uniform. And If I go to the stroke control panel under properties you want to make sure that your stroke is set to center. You can see the cut line that will go around the graphic here. If I hide my docker there and open up the layers docker I can now go back to the artwork one toggle it back on for visible and unlock it so that we can access it. Now you can see turning the visibility on and off where the cut line is on the graphic and it surrounds it as we want it to be. The artwork can now be saved in the appropriate format for the printer cutter to be used on.